welcome everyone you know it's been a fun tourney so far and you know we're gonna see a banger last match we're gonna finish it with a very nice rivalry right here between Sena and key you know it's gonna be a very hype finals i'm really fo looking forward to cast and you know i'm really looking forward to see everyone's reactions on this game so yeah i think we should just get straight into the veto and yeah what what, yeah. what are your thoughts minor yeah we got the rematch today between pretty and pink and aim lapse is free i think it will be a very interesting game um but before we go into the map veto i just want to say a quick thank you to everybody's help producing and casting so a big thank you to haribo rg sado yosep jenny ollie dom vlad Zapper, Sena, Reaction, also EXO, of course, and also to Koli in the Twitch chat. Um, so yeah, I think we can hop into the map video now. picking especially because they're both key players to the teams you know he's mostly calling and it's really it's going to be really interesting to watch that and you know saying he's told us in the last interview that you know he's edging towards the you know the less igling less calling more you know getting down 
business part, you get me? Yeah, it's going to be really, really fun to see what they have to offer on Pearl, you know, especially during the agent select. It's going to be real interesting. Definitely. So, yeah, let's see what uh, these teams are up to now. Just swapping around a few uh, bodies in the lobby. Wait, that sounds a bit... <laughs> okay, defense, that's cool. Okay, Sena's team on the CT side first. That's very interesting since I think if Sena maybe goes towards a chamber pick, he could just lock down all of uh, Bifong, the entire half, which would be crazy, which would be really vital, you know. Getting that half of the map is really important. And yeah, I think that if he does get, uh, if he does lean towards that uh, chamber pick, it's going to be very interesting. But yeah. Chim on Pearl, not too bad right now, but there are better picks for a Sentinel, I think. So yeah, maybe well for. Yeah, would you say that um, the defender side start for Amab is really a big advantage? I think that they will be very happy with six, seven, eight rounds. You know, they will be very hyped up. They'll be they'll be in the mood that yeah, we've already won. You get me, but they'll still be focused, of course. But yeah, I think. I think a close half is a win for more win for Sainer's team. You know, I really think that Key needs to get a close attack. It needs to get rounds and attack. Yeah, but Sena on attack with this comp, with the members that he does have, you know, he has the methodical players like Fireswine and uh, Wolfo. He has the aggressive players, Vic, Sena, Beckett, all three of them. They will they will wide peek through a smoke with without care. You get me. So yeah, that's a really good... Uh, it would be really promising if they get a lot of defense rounds. Definitely. The lobby should almost be ready. Just the last players. Yeah, this last player is, uh, as you can say in the Valorant lingo that he's trolling, you know. He's yeah, decided to be fun. a coach for the for his <laughs> enemy team instead of playing. Gone rogue. Yeah, I mean Vocal Paris, very impactful player in the last few maps for his team. Um big lurker, also his second or even first IGL for his team. Really stepping it up, especially um, after that Breeze loss against the Risley Beards. Yeah, yeah. I, he mentioned in the inter they mentioned in the interview that they took Sena off IGO so he can focus more on his uh, individual performance <laughs> because it's vital towards the team, you know. And they said Woeful because he was the second IGO the entire tournament so far. They uh, they mentioned that he is now the first IGO, which is really interesting because Woeful is very good at reading what the enemies want to do. And especially Key, you know, Key and Wolf have been in numerous customs together where Key's been calling, you know, Key's been shrouding and his team against him. It's going to be very interesting seeing how Wolf, you know, takes that lead to the next level whilst, uh, meanwhile, you know, keeping up his lurks, keeping up his, you know, dangerous uh, presence, if you know what I mean. Yeah, definitely. He's looking to get his third BCT win, most out of anyone in this tournament. Um, has ever gotten. Um, also for his teammate Vict, I believe it would be his second win. And Sena is of course still looking for his first. So today could be the day. Um, and on the enemy team, we've also got Leo looking for his second win. And it appears we're going into agent select. As you mentioned, wins both captains sort of seed ones for the team. Sena and he, they both haven't won a BCT yet, but they've been pillars of the poster court community if you know uh if you know have any history knowledge of it you know they've been you know i they've jeweled they've argued it's been it's been a good it's been a good rivalry between them and it's gonna really be you know settling the beef yeah oh interesting locks you know confident locks on the side of aim labs is free Sena with the viper you know we saw his bind viper performance it was 
immaculate. He got first blood as Viper, you know, the entry Viper. We haven't seen it before. Yeah, the woeful Astra, that's expected. You know, he's the main smoker. Beckett on Rays, my guy, my guy. That's all I'm going to say. Hopefully no Rosas this time. I think Viper is definitely a good pick for Sena, especially on Pro. Definitely many opportunities for some lurks. Uh, for interesting walls, so that will be interesting to see. And we see that Mavi is hovering the Yoru. Might yeah. be a troll. Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a troll. You know, if anyone's playing Yoru on that team, it's def it's most definitely Leo. You know, so yeah, Choose I think he's just uh, giving the audience a bit of a fright. Yeah, in what's that? A little tease. Uh, the two the two raises. That's what I love to see as a raise one trick. No flashes on the Sena side, which could be detrimental. They, they're going for more of control instead of smashing through. And I really respect that decision, you know. It'd be really unexpected for Key's, Key's side to see this comp. And his Breach pick is really interesting because Breach, he's not bad on this map, but he's just not, not a hit, you know. He's not the initiator you want to look for. Yeah, but the Fade will support him pretty well. You know, the Astra Killjoy, it's a solid comp from both teams in my opinion. Yeah, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I think both themes with the raise and the fade combo made a very good decision, especially on the A side. There's many opportunities uh, for some good combinations there. Uh, especially also for our BCT bingo, can get some more fade pulls and um, raise nades in there. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be very interesting what both fades and raises have to cook up, you know, what they have in the kitchen, as they say, you know, and yeah, I think this defensive spread of the Sena is looking very nice, you know, Fire Shrine and Wolf are playing off each other, very important, and then the other three, the aggressors, as I like to call them, the intimidators, you know, playing on towards the A site, you know, because they really want to contest the A site, I think they'll play more passive on B though, you know, and now... The attackers going for an aggression on the B side, you know, uh, Marvi struggling against the turret, you know, she'll have some assistance to break that, you know, they retrieve the orb, I'm not sure if they will decide to go back, yeah, but Vix has backed off, left mid, so that uh, he can focus more on supporting his teammates on B, they don't raise left alone on B long, they skirmish a bit with Woeful, but he doesn't, there's no, there's not much damage put in. You know, he's jiggling, he's uh, jump peeking, trying to find out who else is there. And I think he's told his team that there's a, you know, there's only two people there and it might be a fake. They've made a step in mid. Could, did they even pick it up? And now they find someone mid. Beckett peeked into two people, picked with two massive kills. There's one traded, but I don't think it's enough to keep the advantage. Key is low on HP as well. And, you know, Fire Shrine with a dangerous position here with the alarm bot, you know, if he's the first one there. It'd be detrimental. Fire Shrine missing his few right clicks. You know, getting HP. Victor 3 already. Marvi getting the satchel kill. I think she noticed that, that he was late. Victor 4. He's low. He's looking for the ace. Go hurt for it. Challenge it. You know, he misses a few bullets and she denies the ace. How disrespectful. 4 HP. Let's say I can sit up. What and how by like first this? round for the defenders? I've seen Vic sleeping so far in this in this tournament. I can't lie to you. I know what his potential is as a player, you know, just purely a player. And I think like he hasn't shown up as much as I've in any map. But now he's he's giving me a reason to look at him and say, wow, that's a that's a player to look out for, you know. I think it's C four or C three, and even though he's that low, you know, he's had his moments in custom, and yeah, I think it's going to be very important for him to keep it going, keep that momentum going, motivate the highest needs of his team to show up to, and yeah, that four K was huge, dirty, you know. Uh, the attacker's going for a full B push here. She uh, Marvi double searches in, finds no one, and yeah, they look at the site, take it for free. A nice nade towards B Link. Fire Shrine doesn't seem to be yet. And she takes the first blood of the round on Fire Shrine. Yeah, a big kill, I think, because uh, he was the anchor of that site. And now they're edging towards a pretty fast retake. Sailor takes one, two, with the nade and snake bite combo. Big double damage. 
Jack is taken down. No more socks for the post map. He is left alone in a 4v1. Night. Pretty clean round other than Firetwine dying. It's a very clean cleanup for uh, the defenders on the retake. Yeah, I mean, it's still good for the attackers getting the plant money, of course, and taking out one gun uh, without buying anything themselves. Um, but overall, good round for a map is free. Good round indeed. These men are, you know, contesting, and it's it's a fiery uh, start to the match. You know, considering their last losses have been stomps to this team. You know, Sena is really looking for this revenge, and there's a hunger to win. You can feel it, you know, vibrating from both teams, and you've got to see what they have to offer here. Leaning towards A hit, you know, the attackers are contesting a main pretty loudly you know normally i'd want them to go a bit slower more steady at the start but you know this is still fine the defenders three of them still stuck on a but uh the defenders that are on b just don't rotate they're, they're not shook at all they're not threatened at all by uh, the uh pretty and pink are Kills from Key. Fast crosshair adjustment. I respect it so much. And now he's trying to contest B Link. Flashes it. No noise. Marvi backs off. Fire Shrine just tells him to go away. Pretty convincing though. But Wolf was rotating to A. He doesn't have the read right. Oh, never mind. He tries to come back. And now the attackers are all in on the B side. They even have the breach out. You know, I'm not sure they'll invest that considering their advantage, but. Yeah, the, the side take comes in and, you know, the spike surely comes down. Post plant here now. Sena already deep side. Key pushes him in a spliff. Yeah, another kill by Marvi. And this does look like it's edging towards the flawless because Wolf was now in a 1v5. Yeah, holding a nice position. And Key, beautiful 4k. Doesn't give them any bonus damage whatsoever really good work from him yeah that was a great round by the attacking team especially from keys on really good shot and uh aim up is we actually don't have enough money for a complete full buy but they've got three people on half shields but hopefully that will be enough for them to take this round yeah, I, don't, I think they rebuilt some shields and a bonus, you know, that confidence, sometimes I don't like that, you know. You know, they they, they should be a little more piped down, but it's, it's nice to see that they do have confidence coming into here, you know. Key already having that champion's glow, gotta respect his name. And now, they're edging more towards an A hit. This time, it's not looking like a fake, but Killjoy and Ashra are here. They've already rotated around, though. No, no rotation in here whatsoever. And it's time for the side take now. Sena shooting a few bullets, none of them land on Jack. And he backs off. They're trying to fight for this plant, but all the utility misses except the seas. And that has no impact by itself. And there, the first blood with Sena on his hands. Fire Shrine takes one too, it's a 5v3 retake. Key with a massive O, and now it's time for the lurk from Leo. It's time for him to show off. He gets three big lurk, big timings from Key and Leo, and it's half time he's half saying in a 1v2 you know both enemies are not that low and what and jack hits him with a wide swing beautiful beautiful post plant from key beautiful timings on the lurk plus the ult it's amazing it's a good cleanup and you know it's really hard to look at aim lab this free for some of the next round right there there we see Aim is Freeze doing a little bit uh, of a buy and you're just getting some some better pistols. You see a Sheriff on Sena and a Ghost on Vic and Fire Shrine's going for a shorty. It will be interesting what they'll be able to do with that. Yeah, it'll be very interesting indeed. The Fire Shrine shorty, you know, I really hope they actually go into a year, you know. Now it's more of a retake. This wall is really good by Sena because it makes them really paranoid for what's behind it. But there's nothing there. There's nothing even. It's really good use. 
bait out utility into clear what's behind the wall and yeah they do in fact find that there's nothing on the immediate site now it's time for the attempt to take the satchel tries to make noise on b-link the nade comes in they're forced to back off yeah the spike is planted oh big kill by jeff on fire shrine i beat it oh yeah somewhere on the map scene has been uh smoked as well it's a 3v5 now no guns this should be a fast cleanup from the attackers but now nah, they're taking their time with this a beckett with a massive shot to marvi and there jeffrey takes one back take the trade justin with three in an impossible clutch situation he cleans it up it's a clean anti-eco from playing big This is gonna be a big round here, you know, both teams gonna fall by, you know, not as important for uh, Pretty and Pink as it is for Labs is free, but they, but it's really what they deserve, the, the way they played so far the last three rounds. Now it's time to showcase, it's going for a fast hit, fast A hit, Marvi is steamrolling, trying to, you know, intimidate them to go back, but you know, the nades aren't really hitting. And they're going for a season 8 combo, the nade a bit premature And it uh, just doesn't land right Marvi enables her, oh she's already satcheled Rosa, done by Marvi, did Zek jump on her account? Yeah, and that the... was a little bit of a troll there Yeah, I think she was maybe flashed or something, so Nah, nah, they didn't even have flashes Don't know what she was thinking but yeah, Sena takes one back, it's a 4v4 retake, he's stunned, no he dodges it, it's missed stunned by Key, and there it's Beckett, Marvi with a beautiful position, as Beckett tries to uh, try to snap at Jack, uh, she jumps at him and then Jack is traded anyway, nice damage done to the flanker there, Wolf with some nice shots on Marvi, it's a 2v2 right now, uh, Fire Shrine being very low, you know, it's very difficult to uh, win in this position. Jeffrey, uh, another, it's a two, 1v2 now, it's surely looking impossible now. The time's running out, Fire Shrine, he's gonna do the smart thing, he's gonna back off and save, you know, and it's a big round to lose for Aimlabs 3. Big round. As you can tell from this uh, scoreboard, you know, the money isn't looking too good. You know, the economical development of uh, this uh, Aim Labs is free side, not looking too great. It's just been looking like it's just, uh, Key's team has been dominating, you know, on the attack. You know, finding this need. It's, bit, it's looking like Sainer's team is just giving up too much for the aggression no it's packed into their team. It's just like gifting them too much, you know. With the Astro, with the Rays, with the the vibe, the filter, you're expecting them to put hold. Marvi with a fantastic and they dig our own team. Oh, genius. Yeah. Surely intentional and now she just ignores the Prowler there. And yeah, they back off. They just wanted the orb and the owl there, but the defenders, they're not shaken at all. And yeah, Sena is dead. Somehow, yeah, he's got he got caught lacking in mid. It's unfortunate really and yeah the attackers are just looking for a clean take here they don't want to lose any lives you know they want to make sure they're safe to win this round and yeah jack catches vic lacking on a late lurk you know it's very ambitious to go for that uh mid push marvi uh entering onto the b side fire shrine enabling the molly this time it lands and it cancels the plan good adjustment from fire shrine there now they're trying to get the spike down and yeah marvi with a nice position i really like her positioning you know it's just unexpected especially on this map beckett trying to nade trying to bait her out marvi just running away from it she's sucked in but not really to the nade there she's being that run and gun on beckett you know, it's really hard to land shots on a person like and yeah she just tries to be fancy pull out her gun even though she has like 10 bullets 
And yeah, it's a quick cleanup for the attackers just to find the floss. Thoughts on that? No charges. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, a beautiful contribution. <laughs> no problem. Thank you so much. And yeah. It's uh, it's it's really looking like the attackers are running away with this now, but you know, the defenders do still have a say. Look at their ultimates. Look yeah, I was about to say. They've Look got the all their ultimates online. This should be a good round for them, hopefully. Yeah, they really need to utilize these ults because you know the ult economy here is heavily leading into their side. They need to make this round work. You know, the mental side of things wouldn't look any worse if they just let this round go. They go for the orb. Now Key's Rolling Thunder is online for the second time this half already. You know, I thought the 8 orb uh, nerf was big, but apparently for Key, nerf is enough. Now Fire Shrine is uh, holding on backside, you know. I think Sane has been pointing out that he needs to fight more. And yeah. It's a good ult by Jack. And yeah, it gives it gives them a lot of free space. I think they get the plan advantage really easily. Marvi, uh, it happens. What she decides to do here, and yeah, he catches, she catches her, and then she pushes through. The flash doesn't land, but she still takes the kill. Fire Shrine is clueless. I don't know what he's doing there, and they're rolling thunder and the and the rocket launcher. Beckett with a. With an O, and it's and it's not looking good, you know. It's not looking like he lands this one. Yeah, he doesn't even shoot it. He just lets it run out, and yeah, big post and so much sitting is happening. The defenders are cleaning up. Victor's on it. It's a one v one situation. It's up. Vic, big let go. That's a great round by the defenders. Yeah, I really think that it should have been cleaner, but. At least they got it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm not sure how Beckett got all those kills there in the post plan, but he did, and those were very big for him up his free. Yeah, I agree that I don't know how he did those, even though he never shot the raise or a good raise always shoots the rocket. Everyone knows that. Yeah, I'm so salty that he didn't shoot that rocket. Some of the defender aggression. This is what we we saw like we saw lacking in the past few rounds. They just didn't aggress on any side at all, and that aggression did give them hella info about what attackers were doing. You know, it's pretty obvious that more leaning towards a mid slash A hit. So yeah, they ain't rotating too much, but yeah, they're gonna stay wary and they're gonna hold the space they took. They have the kill jump and the viper, so I think that's a pretty good retake combo. For the defenders, so as long as Sena doesn't lose his life here, he'll be fine. Fire shine. Places his swarm grenade. You know, goes back. I don't think he expects Marvi to be in this position, and I think she's deciding to swing this sooner or later. Fire shrine shreds her. The ult is still up, and now the counter killjoy ult comes in. What is happening here? The attacker ult is still up. This attacker oh, is still up, none of them are caught by it. They're all running back, the time is clicking, the defenders are trying to rush back in. The Viper oh, hasn't even went down yet, and the post plan is just too much. It's too much for the attackers to handle. The kill advantage does go in the defenders' favor though, but the time does not. It's over. And apparently it's before clutch by Leo, beautiful clutch there, you know, the shots were amazing, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that was definitely fully on him. Oh. He did get the diffuser though, that was well played by him. Yeah, it okay, was so vital for him to get that extra kill, you know. The counter kill joint from the attack is really the winning play there. It was really the, the checkmate for that round. And yeah, it, it's, it just seems like uh, they're just controlling this. It, it seems like they're like the puppet. Puppet is that's what they're called, right? The people that control the puppet. That, that's what they. <laughs> My English ain't that good. Predicted nine in lit, by the way. Saying that. So yeah, it's uh, it seems like the attackers are puppeteering the game, but yeah, 
the attackers are now wary of this three man eco push and i think it's not gonna we have to see what happens they don't have really the long range weapons that you need to contest this but you know anything could happen here it's Vic Wolfer with the uh, aggression they're jiggling off each other they still don't know about Wolfer's position I don't think they expect it, and yeah, sees nade combo. That's one. That's one for the bingo cards. <laughs> and yeah, awful dies as well. Don't know how, but yeah, he, he gets put in a spliff too. And they choose to rotate as well. Like, look how much steps they are in ahead. Even in an anti eco, they have the the intelligence to just rotate off. And now the defenders are reading their play too. You know, they don't really think. seconds left. And much of it, they're, they're thinking more simply, and yeah, stars are being heard, being placed down. And yeah, Fire Shrine misses the timings for the Nano Storm to be placed. I mean, he doesn't miss that timing. Marvi takes another kill. It's a five. It's a two v five now for the defenders. You know, Beckett and Sena in a very tough position right now. And yeah, it's it just seems like this post plan isn't gonna get anywhere for the defenders. Now, Sena and Beckett both creeping up at the same time to Players default standing. here. Sena still holding, gets one. It's in a 1v4 situation, you know, impossible, but, you know, Sena, he, he does the impossible. He's flashed, but he doesn't stick. Sena hits it. Key hits him with a Yande peak. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Sena's smart, too smart for that, you know. If any other player, Key tried that on, it would have worked, but, you know, you know, Sena. Sena's Swedish. Yane is too. It just can't happen. Yeah, I mean, thankfully you had a Phantom, not a Vandal. It's Might true. have gone differently. Smart timeout here for the defenders to choose one. You know, it's it's. It, I think it might have came like a little too late, but as long as they get the comms right, as long as they get the feedback right on what they're doing wrong. It, it could be very promising. Yeah, as long as they get these last next two rounds on defense, I think they do stand a chance still in this map. But it's very hard it's like for the attackers. The attackers just seem to be two steps ahead every time, you know. They can read when they're rotating, even on the anti-ecos. They can read what, where, how uh, much they're contesting. The defenders, for their comp, for the players that are in their team, I just don't think they're taking fight enough. Do you agree with that, Miner? Yes. I wholeheartedly agree. I definitely listened to every single thing you said there. Um, and I think you did a very great analysis as to why this timeout is needed, but a little bit late. <laughs> right, yeah. Sorry, Exo. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nah, nah, I need a casting job after this. I need a casting gig after this one, guys. I, I can't lie. <laughs> please sign me, pick me up. VCT caster. I've retired as an organizer, I've retired as a now a caster, guys. And yeah, the attackers leaning towards a heavy push. Why are they playing even safer? I mean, they've taken all of mid, but really, have, have the attackers really been utilizing mid that much? Not really, and yeah, it's, it's a wrong thing to aim for, in opinion. So yeah, the attackers do. Marvi is like a whole mile away from a team, you know. If they catch her alone, it's going to be a... Leo is still playing day. his spawn. He's doing yeah. his best Kenny cosplay. <laughs> I mean, Leo is just waiting until his team commits, which is fair. But yeah, I, don't, he, I think he should be watching the alarm because if someone swings that... No matter what the Lombard gets, Key gets the first blood on Sena, that's big, that's huge, he's, he's been made low, but Key does not care, he's like a contestant art anyway. And yeah, uh, another kill has been gone on Beckett, and this is the two best players, you don't really want to see this after a timeout, Key catches big lucky in our uh, connector there. And yeah, Fire Shrine is in the smoke, hiding, enables the smoke, enables the grenades. I don't think they're expecting me in the smoke. Picks two. Fire Schwein. This is around to pick up the pace. He gets two only. Two is only as good as four. And now it's woeful in a 1v3 situation. Fade and Brucho online for the attackers here for their post. But all of them sit in an art. And I think one is even going to wrap around waters. Yeah. He's woeful. Make sure not to take a step with that flash. Very smart decision. He 
He's creeping up. He's going to find no one there. Very surprising for him. Very smart positioning here from the attackers. He hears steps in lobby, but uh, I don't think he recognizes them as such. He goes to connect, and it's, it's going to be more of like an exit save, even though there's no one walking towards him. And yeah, uh, the, the timeout, it seemed, it seemed a bit futile, you know? That means, that means that means pointless, right? Come on, please. <laughs> yeah. Last round is this is your English class because you skipped it before or something. Right Listen to me. I'm a predicted nine in English language. Yeah. I. I. I, I right that's by the way, like, I don't know. It's really good. Okay. okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but it, it, it's predicted. Okay, my man. All right. So. Uh, I trust you. Yeah, you gotta hang on with me for a second. Just walking on my. Uh, I should skip less of school to be honest. Yeah, the val the Valorant gig ain't working for me. Yeah, stay in school, kids. Yeah, Don't very do drugs. good lesson. Don't do drugs. Do not do drugs. Yeah. Uh, very wholesome casting here, and yeah, the attackers do look like they're just steamrolling onto B. And yeah, uh, Leo catching Sena lacking on the flank. I think he got too ambitious with the window. And they're shredded by Leo. Leo with a 3k. Just Jeffrey, the, the mental from this attacking team is just too much. And yeah, it looks like an immaculate take and an immaculate hold. Two of them in spawn with three people. They just took the piece out for themselves. Fire Schwein alone. Oh, it's, it's an ambition try. He, he's ulted. He's out of there. And nah, it's not even close. 9-3. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mina? I think they're fucked. I don't think there's a curse. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. There's no way. I think defense was uh, hard for this team to just show up. And I think losing that on Pearl, you know, it's just a big thing. It's just a, like, it's just not a thing you want to do, you know? Especially when you have to play more matches when you want to... You, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah she, she, she's here to reassure me, guys. I'm here to speak. She's just here for emotional support. No, I think um, definitely they're on the previous half leo really covered flank every single round perfectly like there was not a successful flank i don't think by team a lap and if leo is able to do the same again um make sure they don't get flank um and is able to pull mid i think they have this map in the pocket yeah i agree that i agree with that completely leo has been Locking it down on this killjoy, you know. He's been shown to be an all-rounded player, you know. We've been looking at Woeful, but we haven't been looking at Leo so far. Those have the same excuse of not playing the game much, but they still remain to be very, very smart players. Uh, you know, especially in clutch situations and situations where you really want them to stand out and inspire. But yeah, you know, the attackers here are creeping up over A main, you know, with a with a choke hold uh, planned by Leo and Jack. Nah, nah, it's not really a choke hold. It's just, it's just one star. And yeah, Sena creeps by the reveal. So that could be big. Leo takes one. Wolf who trades it. It's a, it's a two-one-one trade. And Sena, he stepped, but they didn't hear it. And now he's stepping more, and they still don't hear it. There's two flanks happening. What are they doing? Sena, now stepping loudly. How did they still not hear it, bro? Check headset. Big, big trades. Headset check for Jeffrey, guys. Can we have a? Like, what is he doing, bro? The first step, okay. The se okay. I understand you didn't hear that. The second steps, meh. <laughs> the third steps, like, where is this guy's head? Is he playing on speakers? Does he have his audio on? He he, he did a no audio challenge for the rest of the map, guys. My apologies. And yeah, right there. Right there. I think I think one that round there is really the pillar of 92 combat. Right you know, you don't see a 93 uh, that hasn't been initiated from a pistol march. And yeah, they're attempting a fast B push here. Insta rotates from some of the defending members. 
Yeah, I think I think this uh, side. Sena is entering with the Viper once again, you know, Beckett really needs to pass in the process. They need the plant with the Season Nade, it's big Season Nade combo with the stun too. Vict is put in a spliff, but not before he plants the spike. And now the post plant user was being set and Sena is left being left alone on site. He has to turn, he has to go big on this side, I think, I feel like. He needs to go two, maybe even three while waiting on this side. Oh, Jack. Jack just being patient, you know, looking for the exits, containing them that there, so that most of them die to the spike as possible, you know. He really wants to go for that eco damage. Big back it, having seen his back for that Jeffrey Shorty attempt. And there it is, it's a very clean post plan. 3k for Sena, and they take it with four members alive. Yeah, sorry guys, my uh, co-caster went to, went to uh, sleep and now um, I took a little break to uh, drink water and shit, so, you know, yeah. I'm back, I'm back, so, I feel I like, I feel like I'm like a, a musical by myself with the rapping I'm doing, you know, like. I mean, this is what you asked for, Axo, you wanted the, the casting, you wanted the spotlights, yeah, I gave yeah. you the spotlight. How generous. Of course. Yeah, gener generosity of mine is. Please, please give Axel some attention in chat. He's yeah. very hungry. For I'm it. very hungry. I'm attention deprived. He takes one on the buy round. Leo takes two. Et up by uh, Leo there, but it's still just a one pl one player advantage. And Sena doesn't even focus on retrieving the gun. Sena is confident enough to get the Spectre fight, but you know, you be eager when you're five nine down. You get me. The uh, fire shrine almost catching Marvi lacking. Unfortunate timing. Fire shrine and nah, I think he got a little bit too excited there. You know, thought, so, oh yeah, I mean, I'm about to one be ace, you know, and just didn't get it. It was a nice try, regardless. Uh, it was a nice try. It was good damage by fire shrine. There's three on a bonus, really good. I mean, but you're not really looking for damages when you're this when the round of this much you know you're looking for wins you're looking for promise and yeah right now this seems to be the most important round for the attackers as they've got a superior by this round um... yeah which should be big for them this round will do wonders if they do take it because they have enough to buy for next two now beckett creeping up or you know now with support by his side I think this art defense looks pretty normal by Leo. Turret starts shooting. Nade is out. Becky just walks through it. Uh, he thinks he's him, but just leaves his team. Of course, he needs to. He needs to wait for his team, you know. A dugout nade, not too bad from him. And yeah, he's been made low by Leo's Spectre. And yeah, Sena getting caught, but say doesn't shoot the alarm bot. Yeah, he really thinks he can tap like that. Jack takes another kill. It's looking like a very failed sight take, you know. He spent too long in art. He just got it over and done with. And now Fire Shrine looking back at mid for any flankers, you know. Jeffrey, if Fire Shrine gets on a short peak here, nah, I don't think even think he'll push it. But yeah, 30 seconds on the clock. The attackers really need to decide to do something, you know. The defenders are very fairly spread out right now. 30 but, seconds you left. Know, more map control would have guaranteed them the Jeffrey kill. Three towards R right now for them to re-hit the same site with the same defense on it. Jackalus peaks, he gets zero. Done. He even hits them with a stun. Wolf takes one, there's ten seconds left. It's a it's a fight. It's a big fight and Leo wins it. Wolf the spike is down. Two v three retake for the defenders. Can win. Can Victor Wolf really do this? It's all up to Wolf now and it's a nice combo. He takes one, it's the stun and the nade combo, it's big, big ult combinations from the defenders here to successfully retake this round and it's uh, the big it's round. round away from match point for the defenders. Yeah, they will do, they will leave uh, yeah. the attackers with somewhat with a buy but it's really, 
you really shouldn't be losing those rounds. You know? Real. Real, indeed. Alright, now we're moving to, uh... Another one of the important rounds of this game, you know. This time, it's more for Sena than it is for Key, because this is their last buy if they lose, you know. This is their last attempt at scratching and clawing their way up into the light. And, you know, this time, this time they're walking into a three-man behold, you know. It's like they get the read wrong every time, and, you know, Jeffrey just doesn't land any of his shots. Oh, no! That's the curse to real. GG. <laughs> Bro, as soon as I say that, he just lands a headshot through the smoke. He's that guy. And I also think Beckett's positioning that was off. Because if you just stick behind the box there, there's no way they can spam you from that position. The elevation is just too low. And yeah, Leo with an interesting ult. But Sena rushing to break it. Does in fact do it. And yeah, he doesn't understand the key's position. Yeah, he saves his life all too. You Doesn't run. understand Key's position, but they're too worried about Key's position and they forget that B site is completely open. Jeffrey takes one, isn't good for more, but does do some skip damage and they have the B site. You know, it's a 2v2 now. It's Jack and Key versus Fire Shrine and Woeful. You know, this is a big 2v2 here. Two brains of Aim Labs is free versus the two best players, you know, known for their brain, their aim, everything combined. They're just overall really good players from uh, PP here, and they're playing against them now. Jack with a tap. There, they, he popped both swarms at once. Hello. That was an interesting decision by Fire Yeah, and he does get one indeed. You know, when you're when you're when you lose. A B side against the Killjoy and uh, Astra. It doesn't matter if you're fucking LeBron James here. Yeah, you're not winning that situation, okay? <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, it's it's not a no help situation. Like, right it's just right it's just impossible. Especially if they are as safe and as methodical and you know, second, peeps. I gotta visit the utility spamming as woeful and fire shrine are. Normally in ranked, I'd call people like that snakes and rats and shit like that. But you know, this is BCT. This is the this is peak Valorant esports right here. And yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure that you scrape out any win you can. And they do get that sixth round and a pretty comfortable rebuy here, except one small shields and a spectre. And now they lift, they move towards a full A take with Sena lurking, you know. And he. And, yeah. and now it's looking like they ignore the smokes and the warnings of not to entry here. Leo looking for a spam, but he doesn't find anything. And now he's looking Five for minutes. a head to pick. Yeah, catches both uh, Fire Shrine in the animation of throwing the swarm and just doesn't land the headshot. It's a 5v5 retake with the Rolling Thunder and Marvi's uh, showstopper online. It's a 5v5 now. Woeful, big lurk kill. This is the timing you want to see. Victor with another. Say now, another big timing. This One is timing enemy. central. It's tough, but they can't do much about it. A dominant post plan for aim. Uh, aim labs is free. This is what you want to see from them now, and they're clawing their way up slowly, not surely, but slowly. Very well said, EXO. Thank you. Um, yeah. You know, you, you know you're not like our observer and the, the, the audience can actually hear you? you yeah, I think, my... I think they've really enjoyed my casting of three words more than any of the things you've said so far, EXO. That they'll, they'll probably agree to that, but just because you're minor and I'm EXO. I mean, yeah, that's yeah. A, that's, that's a lot, all, really. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's, that's exactly why they'll agree to it. Yeah, now it's uh... an interesting Viper Wall. Yeah. It Sena, worked though. Big kill though for right the there. first blood, you know, he's really good with that entry uh, smokers as we know from the scrim box, you know. Uh, hoping Mike and Senk, Michael Senk are watching this because of the practice scrim. You know, you're seeing he's entering smoke even in the real BCT. It's, it's, off, it's not awful, you lost that practice scrim, it's, it's you, your <laughs> shit. Damn, I should not really be saying that after 
after they lost that big. So you got grouped. Yeah, after I got grouped. But yeah, Key takes one back, but they still are at the body deficit, you know, 4v3 into the post, uh, into the retake. And yeah, it's just a safe hold from all of the players, you know. As long as Becky doesn't pop out here like a dumbass, we should be good. Oh no, no, Key pulling out the O, giving me a fright for a second, but just doesn't want to do that. He catches Marvi lacking, the time is running out and surely they aren't going to be wanting to take fights here. He missing his taps and now he's running straight into Woeful's clutches. Oh no, no, he's going to die to the bomb. Yeah, should have been running before that key. XS. Yeah, Key, you should have been running. Yeah, yeah Key. <laughs> I know you're in the BCD finals and I'm sorry that you are, yeah, but you should, you should, have, you should have been running, yeah. I'm gonna make fun of the minor mistakes you do. Alright, 11. This is a big buy round. This is a round that you want to see. Aimlabs is free uh, winning if you want this match to be close, you know. Minor wants to be out of it, so of course she's rooting for uh, Key in this stand, in, in this instance, you get me? I never said that. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely. I'm not rooting for either team. As an organizer, I'm 100% neutral, and I really hope just to get the best Valorant we could possibly get out of this match. I don't think you even understand what, what half of the utility is used for. All right, look, I might be bad, but I'm not stupid. The thing is, you are bad, but I'm stupid, so it's, 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 it's kinda... See, actually, there's a lot of things I could say right now, but for the yeah. sake of being on stream, I'll hold back. Yeah, she'll hold back, guys. Did you hear that? She's she only doing this uh, publicity. Can we get a DM leak soon, please? Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're famous with the DM leak. <laughs> I'm experienced, I'm seasoned. Oh, crap, <laughs> nah, saying his team is not uh, not winning this, what a tragedy, you know? Bias cast in chat, yeah. 2v4 now, it's, it's uh, Beckett and Willful together. You know, trying to put in a fright, but they're taking, they should just really commit to a spike plant here. You know, because uh, the defenders don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> And now Marvi hits him with a counter razor. Marvi actually lands hers. Beckett, not so much. I don't think so. Okay, never mind. He does as well. Almost lands with two kills with that one. And Jack slowly keeps up. It's match point. It's map point for PP right now. And yeah. Team They're back on track to winning this map. No charges. Match point. No charges. I need a drop. That's for the contribution. Now uh, back to the <laughs> ma <laughs> back to the map, yeah. Yeah, back to mine. Thank you. Um, I think this map going really well for Key and Leo because of their amazing utility usage. Back to EXO. <laughs> Can I get a drop? <laughs> So just died. It's very unfortunate. Um, Haribo, what is your contribution? They can't hear him. You. They can't hear him. This guys. By the way, two minutes ago. Two minutes ago. I may be bad, but I'm not stupid. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, back to this match. It's a five v five now, where the attackers leaning towards the B take. What do you think this is going to lead to? Because uh, defenders are actually fighting for the beast. Looking like they will fight for the B side for once. Yeah, maybe they'll back off, you know. But Marvi, you know, I, I don't view her as a pussy, to be honest. So she should really be uh, taking fights here, you know. You know my, ra my raised people can't be can't be pussies. It's a Bulldog versus Bulldog, I think, with her versus Beckett. And yeah, the fade all comes in. The double satchel's in. She's found. She's found by Beckett. He takes the right. Beautiful take by the attacking team. He trades one back on Sena. But it's on the other side of the map, they can't really help. Jack tries to spam the planter through the box, but Woeful, you know, he's, he's got his homies' backs, yeah? And yeah, they try to land this. Fire Shrine. 
and it's a 3v2 key with an ult and with the rolling I don't know if he's going to invest it. Woeful as well taking the fight and the Fict surely hears him by now. They know he's B long. It's a 1v3 key. key unless he can do something magic. I don't know. Can't leave some chip damage on that kid. That'll be all. Nine for the attackers. It's not impossible, but it kind of is. I mean, I think Fake just really has to step it up here. I should play some Astro Stars Beckett got to you know, as like like this round, played really well, good entry. Got to do that every round, and I think they've got a good chance of making the comeback happen. Oh, my dad's a valuable contribution to the casting. Thank insane. you, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, genuinely, thanks for that uh, insightful uh, opinion. <laughs> that Beckett isn't entering enough because I definitely agree with that. That round he did good, but he really needs to be doing that from the start, you know? You know, it's not just going in first and getting a kill, getting a 3k, you know? That's not your job as Razor, especially on this map. Your job here is to just make sure that your teammates have sight so they can plant the spike safely. You can die there. No one, you can die there. No one gives a fuck. Just make sure they have sight, you know? And that's really why Razor is so good as an entry because she's, she's really good at... Uh, making the space with her util, you know, she does, she doesn't really, is used, she's not really used for damage on this map, you know, maybe her ult, you know, but there's more of that fear factor, and yeah, the B, the attackers really have the B site for free, uh, me and Mino were arguing, so we didn't uh, cover the two kills that the attackers were, were got, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, they even get a third, Sena with a third kill of this team, Jack is waiting for him on a because Sena's doing a very predictable push. If Jack misses his first right click here, I'm gonna end it all. He definitely sees the barrel of the gun. No, he doesn't. He does not see the barrel of the gun. And Sena with a very, very clever timing here. This is the radiant timings you want to see from him. The clock is ticking. You know, the defenders, they don't even want to get exits here. They just want to die to the bomb so they don't so they get their money next round. You know, they're just happy to be here. Yeah. Jack takes a very interesting duel with again Packet. Uh, who's Beckett? I mean Vic, and yeah. Who's Beckett? That's a good question. Uh, we really didn't know who he was like two months ago. He just joined and just forced him himself in the crowd. You get me? I'm joking. I love you, Beckett. If you watch the vod of this, I love you. And yeah. Uh, I, should play some stars in the Astro plane. I don't. Mina, you don't have any love in your soul to give to anyone, yeah? I don't want to hear it. That's the biggest cap. Just ask Tino. Tino, our favorite Risley Beer player who carried her team on Breeze. To the you dropped 40 and I GL'd at the same time. Wasn't Tino? No. Yes, Tino? Was Tino. The cope is insane, bro. Alright, back to the game. So. No, 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 let's, let's, let's make this entertaining, yeah? Tino, yeah, let's see how much kills you got in 34 rounds, yeah? Let's open up the scoreboard. Let's see how much you, how many kills you would get on 300 ping. You exactly. think I would do worse than Tino? Yeah, definitely. That's definitely, like, a You would have quit after cap. the first game. To be yeah, like, oh my god. A fact or cap in the chat, please, for, the, for this one. And for the for Jenny uh, and Coley and everyone else that is an exo hater, I don't want to hear anything from you. The rest of the people, give me a pack of cap in the chat. Oh, nice uh, first Spike blood from Mavi. It's B. traded, but then Jack, Jack trades back. You know he tries to land a spray with the ramble, doesn't Spike land on anything. And uh, retake ults come in. He does ult his own teammate uh, unintentionally. Don't know why Jeffrey was. Jeffrey was getting too big, a bit too tight there. A big, big destruction there of the of the killjoy ult. And now he's saying that in a 1v3 situation, you know, they're both watching him. They're both wanting him. He gets a kill both based on the snake fight. And I think it might be half. No, it is. And he hears the tap. And he swings and Leo has his back. That's map one ready for you. Cooked. It was close at the end, but you know, PP keep on holding on. And I don't really think that Sainz's team really is mentally out of it at all. They put in a good fight. Definitely, they made it close at the end. Um, but especially by Key and Leo was just a very well played map. Yeah, I agree. Key and Leo.
Yeah, yeah, it's been a very nice map indeed. We're going to be back at you with the second map, which as far as I know, it is... It is a bind. Picked by AimLab is free. You know, they had a very dominant performance on bind. Yeah, and yeah, we'll have a 10-minute break until the next map. And yeah, we'll see what I go on then. Thanks for tuning in for the first map. Stay tuned. Banger map upcoming. I'm promising you that. And yeah, thanks. We'll head into a 10-minute break now.
Welcome back to the BCT Grand Finals, everyone. Yeah? We're here. Map 2. How are we feeling, Minor? We're feeling very excited. Yeah, you can hear the excitement. The map could not be, you know. You can clearly hear How the excitement in Minor's uh, voice there. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we're laughing at the awkward silence. We're definitely not laughing at our producers saying some random shit. Yeah. There is no third person here. It's just the voices in our head. That it's the voices at. in our head. It's the AA meeting happening in both of our heads right now. So we're both, we're both healing, so it's, it's got to happen. All right, so what's going to happen here in this map? I think, honestly, what, what the audience want to see is... Uh, Stay now winning so we can get a 1-1 one, one, uh, and a third map, which is going to be a scent, which is going to be a bangle also. But I really think this map is going to be really close, you know, because uh, the last map, they were they were miles ahead. They even won the pistol, I think. No, 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 they never won the pistol. The, the team that wasn't ahead won the pistol, and then they lost the bonus, and then they even lost the round after that. And the team that was trying to make a comeback did really well. They went 5, 6, 7, 8. And then match point, and then nine, ten, and then they lost, which was really close. And yeah, I really liked that uh, that map at the end. You know, it was really thrilling. Yeah, because after my minor talk, it was it really just cancelled out all the cancelled out the what? Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. The, the channel right. is what I mean. <laughs> all right. Well, it, last time we saw by in the tournament, there was a maps. Uh, is free absolutely stomping Grizzly Bears 13 3. So we'll see if this will be any similar or if Key's team, the pretty they're going for the, they're going for the exact same comp, the... legal with the Yoru hover. That's very interesting, you know. There, but the, the attackers they are going for an exact same comp from what they did before. And you know, it's really what you want to see from them since it's that st because of that stomp. Leo were hovering Yoru, and I think this is a serious pick. You know, bind Yoru, it, it has to happen for Leo, right? We haven't seen Leo much on the Yoru this tournament so far, and it is his main, so it has to happen at some point, surely. Oh, but it's no. not today. No, no, no. Give us that Yoru, bro. Have I never been? I've never been begging for a Yoru more than this moment right here. You know, I want a fun match. I want something different, diverse, not not these generic ass double controller comps. You you know what I mean, Miner? I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, she doesn't even know what comp stance is short for. So. Your agent. I do, but thanks. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah. Leo. Leo no Yoru. Don't know how his Twitter following is going to think about that. Uh, his, his Twitter following must be in shambles right now. They must be boycotting Leo after this. Yeah. Big part of the Yoru community just betraying them. Uh, this, is, this is traitorous acts. They're gonna, they're gonna definitely do like a, you know, like a crow court. You know, when crows just murder one of their friends. Yeah, that's, that's what's gonna happen. You know, he's, he's gonna. Was it called when there's like uh, 10 shooters and it's an execution where 10 people are shooting, but you don't know who kills the person? Who do you think I am? No, you definitely know this. I've, Harry, I've you know what, before, Harry, what I'm talking know. about, right? I know what you're talking about, but like... Firing squad, that's what it is. Yes, a firing squad, you know. He's definitely going to be hit with one of those after this match. <laughs> That's a very good uh, question, but yeah, I think this uh, this default is going to be a very vital part of uh, Sena's chance of uh, putting a foothold back into the series, if you know what I mean, which is uh, what Miner definitely wants, you get what I'm saying? No. Please explain. You know, you know how you're so excited for this match and you definitely want to see overtimes in this match and the next one? Yeah, totally. 
Uh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I think about. for the content, for BCT, it would be very beneficial to have overtime. And then a third map, also with overtime. Oh, Key and... Uh, I think that was Leo. You know, looking up to A after showers and taking Sainer's head off. And now the team is going for a B execute. Marvi with one. I don't think... I don't know. I think she jinxed Vic. Yeah, she jinxed Vic as well. Big damage from Marvi. Jack with an easy right click. Takes a few damage hits to Rofo. Is now a 3v2 for the defenders. And uh, just Jeffrey. Runs past the smoke. Wolfo has too much shit to watch, and yeah, it's a pretty clean round. The aggression in showers, so good from the defenders. You know, it's such a good timing, and you know, if you, if uh, Rizzly Bears did it like this, I think uh, it would have been very easier for them to win, because Mike just pushed down showers alone in some rounds, and it was not it. And yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure we should be analyzing that map right now. Um, living in the past, always. I'm kidding. Anyway. Um, I think Fire Shrine should have stuck the plant there the first time, but it is what it is. We're moving on to the second round. Well, I don't even know it's like he let go. It's it's really kind of disappointing. Oh, a tether nade combo. I don't know if it will catch them, but Jack trying to bait out bullets with that orb. They know they realize it's a fake now. Yeah, they're both just waiting in that smoke. He's reading it pretty well. He's being very patient. And now, they're trying to do a double peek, you know, saying it takes first, takes a lot of damage and, you know, Jack backs off, does a smart thing to do when he's up against two people. You know, and Marvi's Spectre skin, damn, I need to, I need to duo with her, bro, because that Spectre skin is fine as fuck, yeah. I'm sure that's the reason. Miner, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Professional casting right here, guys. Real. Real. Now Marley taking a fight with Becky, a skirmish, and you know, she takes a few bullets, he takes a few bullets, and he's the one that lands on one HP. Sena, you know, you don't don't do what I think you're gonna do, Sena. Please don't do what I think you're gonna do. He's he, he's he's gonna do what I think he's gonna do, right? He he just did what I think he was gonna do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, as you, as you deserve to go down like that, bro. Jack with another one, a nice spray through the smoke. Oh, Jack! Sleep, my sister. You've seen too much. That's my guy right there, bro. He's part of the Mathy squad. He's part of the Mathy crew. The Mathy Mandem. That's what they were called. Uh, and Jeffrey, you know, vital member of the Mathy Mandem, takes them down. Hope Mathy's in chat with us today. I, I don't know if it's likely, but you know, hopefully he's there. Yeah, I mean, just looked in the Discord general chat of both the cords, and they <laughs> have the stream. They have the stream open there. So, uh, skills, if you're watching this, you're a very handsome guy. I don't know, I apologize, I wasn't familiar with your game. Yeah. Sino, you're a cutie as well. Alright, back to, back to the game. It's a buy run. Uh, what are they called again? Aim Labs is free. And you know, they're trying to. They're trying to, you know, push up short here, but they think they think it'll be contested. And it's another seasonate combo. Marby with on Becky. Damn, she's been doing this to him every damn time. And yeah, they try to nade even though they haven't tried to plant. Sainer is trying to claim a life back because Marby, you know, popped. There, yeah, Marby uh, whiffing a few bullets, but she gets the kill and also an assist on Key's kill on. Uh, the other person. Yeah, and we'll fix one back. It was a 1v5, was a 1v3, but he was taken down. Not surely the bonus round. You just alive on 5 HP. Yeah, Jack, you know, he clutches, you know. That's an I extra think... gun for the defender side. I think some of the fat Brimstone's body just tanked some of the bullets that Jack was in taking. You know what I mean, Miner? No fat shaming yeah. here, I'm complimenting him for being fat. Yeah, I mean that booty is just different. For real. You know what we say uh, in in the end, Miner? Get oh. ready to cringe shout. We call him Fatty Brimstone, yeah? I think I said this already on stream. 
Shit. It's okay. We're used to you reusing jokes. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's it's the X it's the X away. It's the X away. But yeah, big bite brimstone, the goat. Now it's a five v five, you know. On an eco, we have aim labs is free. Saying it with a little bit of a force on the guardian here, you know, trying to do the hero rifle, but with you can't afford an actual rifle. So yeah, what's gonna happen is uh, the skirmish on outside hookah is gonna lead towards Beckett. It's gonna give them the five v four advantage, and now Jack wants Jeffrey on the site alone. You know, and it's looking very dangerous. So Jack, you know, he sniffs it out pretty well. He comes, he looks back into the A site. They don't hear it. Saying is walking up to lamps. You know, he's isolating the angles pretty well. And now he's gonna take a fight that he can't, uh, that he will win because Jack, because the wall gives him the advantage. I don't know what Jack's doing there, but Saina wins. Je Jeffrey takes one back on Marvi though. He trying to spam a kill, he does get one! Why is fire walking into fucking sprays? Hello? Okay, Sena puts Leo in a spliff. Key takes one back, it's a 2v2 now. I don't know how this round is so close. Sena should have won this from the start. And now they tap the defuse. Woeful with an. That Molly lineup is actually insane. I'm, uh, I'm gonna need to message Woeful to get that one. I thought it was gonna bounce off something. It bounced off like <laughs> it bounced off the inside of the fucking. I mean, honestly, map. it was Vic's fault for not planting there. Um, miscommunication. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Vic, why? How could you just not plan for the lineup there? You know, that's a ranked moment right there. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know why Wolf was aiming the lineup for fucking Breeze. Yeah, but you know. I mean, it almost hit, you know, just just a little flick of the mouse is what made it not hit. The attackers are on the board now, though, with one round. None of them get picked up by the knife. Never mind, Fire Swine is literally bottom mid, yeah, and gets picked up by the knife. Why is he always in the wrong place at the wrong time? Alright, it's, it's a full B take now, two people uh Vic just runs on site yeah he thinks he's him Kiki gets a perfect lineup of body shots on Vic and Sena Eckett you he doesn't know that Brimstone ult does damage right someone needs to tell him it's fucking Beckett bro I don't I don't think he knows anything about this game I mean that's a little too far oh sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's, I should have just did for the, the audience's assumption yeah, for pretty clean uh, defense because the timings of uh, the B take was really not explosive at all. On this map, you definitely need like a double satchel when you're going into B, especially the first like few times. Because, uh, but Beckett, of course, he can't satchel for his fucking life. Is that too far as well? No. Okay, thank you. And yeah, uh, admin approved. Yeah, the organizer approved. So. Yeah, we're going into a 4-1 now. The attackers really need to start getting more rounds on the board here, I think, because of their comp. You know, if they... I mean, the double controller at plus 7 is pretty good. Oh, Sainik takes one, cannot carry over to a second, because Mar B is just better than him. Uh, double swung, Jackless loses to them. And now it's Mar V on a little 1v4 on the side. She takes one. She's spamming oxygen, yeah, and she doesn't seem to be able to get one, because why would anyone push backside? Yeah. Face your fear. And now Vict with an interesting ult. He ults oxygen. Why? What do you think anyone's there? And now Marvi with a big three. With her ult. And yeah, it's now it's a 3v2. He takes one. Marvi just keeping the, the raise anchor. We've never seen anything like this before. Except, of course, when I'm playing raise. But I'm not playing raise right now. So yeah, Marvi. What is that smoke as well from the attackers? You saw that, right? Yes. No, you never. You're probably playing chat right now. The yes so, was. I'm watching. I'm okay. Well, why was the smoke? Why did the smoke land? The one, the what, the smoking question. Where did it land, Lina? Sorry, my memory is bad. Um. Anyway, that was a great round by the defenders. I agree. Yeah, guys. Uh, I may I may be bad, but I'm not stupid. 
but it's a is it a buy round now? Yeah, it's a buy round for aim times. It's free. They really need to get on the board more rounds on the board here. You know, it's not. It's really disappointing having them not uh, showcase. What's up? You know. That and was another insane ult by Beckett, as we've been seeing all through. I genuinely think Beckett has like a ten percent landing. We should not call them roses anymore. We should just call it Beckett ults. That's actually real. What? What is he? What is going on? He, does, he barely plays races, bro. He goes jet most of the time, and he's, he's doing shit like this. Clownery. Yeah. The race community will not be happy with that. Oh, 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 Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, chill, relax, reset your spray for a second. Victor almost ran across the hole with Leo shooting bullets at him and got away with it. And now Key and Wolfo. This is a big skirmish this round. And now they're jiggling, they're taking fights. Key is expecting someone behind him, but no one is there. Wolfo picks up a better angle and takes him down. Now the. 2v3, you know, it's very important that they don't lose guns here, the attackers, they shouldn't. And now Beckett cleans it up, two very impactful kills at the end. Well played by Beckett and he dies with a bomb, what the fuck is bro doing? I mean, honestly, I think he just used the result on purpose, so that the defending team would have more confidence to push in, so that he could get the two kills with the gun. Yeah, the classic uh -huh. old sacrifice. Beckett is yeah. Beckett knows something we don't. He's cooking something we we haven't even ever heard he of. He has before. escaped the matrix, honestly. Yeah, top G. <laughs> Wait, are we can we get TOS banned from that? Anyway, we're moving on. Yeah. Uh, what a great buddy does Cena have. Um huh? definitely impressing some. She, did you say he has a game body? What? You guys heard that? Someone clipped that? Please, someone clipped that. I said he had a great buddy. A buddy? You heard buddy? So, Harry, please. <laughs> please <jump. laughs> you heard buddy as well, right? No. <laughs> buddy. You yeah, mind that complimenting Sainan's body, even though he's not. He's not. I mean, Viper, you gotta admit, she's something else. I really oh. need someone to clip that, guys, please. Okay. My bad, honestly. I won't speak again. Damn. Oh, Leo takes two. Enables the oh now the Fadal is online too, it's a 2v4. The Fadal didn't seem to affect neither attacking players. He's trying to hold this side. Fire Shwan gets in the smoke just before Mobby, but Mobby's just better, she's hotter than him. And she takes him down, yeah? And now it's a 1v4 from Morpho. I don't think he realizes what the diffuse sound sounds like. And yeah, he just lets it happen. So yeah, <laughs> bro. I think this this style of casting is much more fun than whatever the fuck I was doing last month. Just flaming the players, even though it's it, it, everything I'm, they're doing is right. I'm carrying here, honestly. Yeah, for real, for real. What would I do without you, Miner? Yeah, I know. Right here. No yeah. problem, like so. The economy is in shambles again. Personally, if I was Sena, I'd I'd put some crypto into this, and you know. Get some money out of it, you know, you know what I mean? You know, find, find the infinite money glitch. Like, it does entry better with a stinger than with a, with yeah, a normal gun, though. Yeah, we've insane stinger plays this tournament. We'll see what Becca can pull off this time. Becca has more kills with a stinger than with Razor. Uh, it's, 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 it's amazing statistics. 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 Ah! You got the... <laughs> Jesus. You got the spreadsheet up, Exa? Exo has died again. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> um, so what we're seeing right now is um, absolutely nothing. Uh, Eka is ADSing his stinger, looking at the wall, holding the angle, leaving. <laughs> Sina is lurking up B. Does he know that there's still two players on B? Down. Um, where is Exo? I need him. I never thought I'd say that. Um, he did not expect Sina to be long already. 
That is very unfortunate for him. But the spike goes down. And um, all of the attackers got hanged up by the fade thingy. Whatever it's called. I can't think right now. Um, Alright, shut up. X is back. Yeah, guys. There we go. There we go. Okay, now it's 4v3. <laughs> oh, 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 back is he's one HP. He's just better. He's just better than him. He's just better than Fireshwine. Can Fireshwine even let them shot on the body? That just proves that Fireshwine has no. I can't say that. Like, uh, the attackers do get a 7th round from a pretty big investment by the attackers, you know. Investing hell of money into this uh, round. And now it looks like they're gonna go for an economical save right here. What are your thoughts, Miner? Yeah. Yeah, alright, thank you. Uh, what we have now round. is... I don't know why Fireshwine just lost hope. I think maybe he's been flamed, you know. You know, you know how a Tilted Sainer can get in the past PCTs, you know. Maybe, maybe he's evolved, but... You know, it is what it is. What happens in the 5v5 though is uh, now it's a 5v5, of course, because it's only been three seconds into the round. What the fuck am I saying? Spike drop. And yeah, they're going for an A hit on an eco. I don't know why they think it would work. You know, do they know B is like more closer together and shit? And yeah, Tana with a hero rifle here, you know, he really thinks uh, that. An investment like this could change the round, and honestly, I don't blame him. You know, if Sena can get a good series of kills, I think that will be very vital for him to, uh, you know, pull up with a with a win here. Now we see a skirmish happening on Hooker Key with confidence unmatched. Warbang kills three in a row. Massive kills from Key there, and they leave Hooker cleared. They wipe Hooker. I mean, Key wiped Hooker. He's go like, bro, no, he's Key. And yeah, he takes Suka because he knows killing three people there is is very good, considering the other two. And Leo lurks on uh, Sena's lurk, and yeah, it's insane. I've never seen a player so genius that they lurk in their own spawn, you know? Seconds left. <laughs> oh damn, Kenny exists, my bad, that's actually wrong. Uh, yeah. Right here. So yeah, Leo does catch Sena off guard, and there's Key with an Eco 4K, you know, you know what they call him, Eco Cobra. They don't call Key that, but they, they call me that, so I just want to, you know, project it on someone else. Okay, okay, M more normal casting from now on, since it's a buy round for Sena, and if he loses this, uh, it's GG's. It's looking like GG's yeah, anyway. It's just this. Because if they lose this investment round, they, uh, the defenders also probably get a 10th round, which, you know, double digits first half is... It's not looking good, bro. It's not looking good. So yeah, now they're going for more of like an A hit. But yeah, w Woeful's still in spawn, you know, doing his things. And what's looking like a really strong hold on the A side here. Key already rotating, you know, because he found all of Hookah clear. And yeah, four man on A. If the de attackers decide to push this, it'll be weird behavior to be honest you know they really needed that agent to find out where the info was where is victor at with the info finding they find people in showers now they're convinced that it's an a now the defenders are convinced that it's an a here the seize comes in through vict is ulting i don't know if he caught anyone with his ult but yeah the trades come in it's an advantage big towards the defenders it's looking Dire for the attackers now. It's looking dire for aim labs is free. This is not how they wanted to go down This is not how they wanted to look and they just Attackers just uh, the defenders just seem more uh, more prepared more aware And there it is three people just take shots. It's a firing squad on Wolf of Power and yeah he, kicks, he gets taken down after he gets one kill which has no impact whatsoever because uh, Apparently the defense has a uh, Insane money. They're rich. They invested early into crypto. Yeah, they re they really got that Bitcoin at its peak. Yeah, I think I'm sure Kenny's proud. He would be. Um, I mean, he probably would have liked to see Mavi lurk a little bit more. Uh, but you know, 
You can't you have everything yourself. in life, can you? Yeah, yeah, you can't have everything in life. You know? So now what's gonna happen is it's a 5v5 saying that with an ambitious swing through a smoke. Who does he think the enemies are, you know? This is what you do when you when it's a sign of you being tilted. This is a big, big loss to have at the beginning of the round, you know? Saying they had that rifle coming into this uh, round. And now they're just Bulldogs and Spectres. It's just scraps and bits and crumbs for the attacking team. And they need to hold with this. And they're going against so much ults. They still have the Orbit to strike. He ults all of Yuho. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, no. It's not. It's not. The, it's an attacking Orbit to strike. And obviously defending Orbit to strike time. I think Wolf should have honestly waited for the... For the defuse. For the defuse. Yeah. yeah, for the tab. Now it's all coming. 5v2 for the defenders. 5v2, 3v2, 2v2! It's insane! Vic takes one, it's a 1v1, it's halved! Why is he using his util? It's halved! Bro! Embarrassment for Vic! That's gonna sting. That's gotta hurt. It was a 2v5! Wolf and Vic merged together to create what seemed to be an impossible stop to a retake that was so powerful, and they just fumble. He just missed hers, one tap of the defuse. And he suffers greatly for it. This is a devastating half for the side of Aim Labs is free. They are on defense, so there is a, a gap, a little spark of hope. If they are even if any of their mentors are still in the game, but I heavily doubt it. Minor, what do you think? Yeah, I mean it's a rough situation for the um Defending team now, aim web is free. Um, but we've seen we've seen better comebacks than this. Maybe not this tournament, but definitely in previous BCTs. Um, it's not over now yet. I would oh, say. Oh, Mar takes two. She thinks another. Why is she so good at just thinking people are gonna tra about to trade her? Yeah. Now it's an advantage towards the attackers, Sena and Vic alone. You know, they're isolated. They're not even playing together. They're in a they're in a moment of need. Saying that pops Jeffrey. It's a two v two now. They don't know where uh, Victor is, but they they now know because he threw a reveal out before they even knew his position. Very smart. And now saying that takes one and Vic takes him too. There's hope. There's a gap, and they take the pistol. Big round from the defenders. And you know. You know what they say, when there's a will, there's a way. That's so true, Axel. That's actually the wisest thing I've ever heard coming from your mouth. Um, yeah, great round by Team Aimlab. We can see where this will take them. They've already bought up a Vandal and a Guardian. Very ambitious buy. Hopefully they can keep it all. That's my word. Don't you dare steal that shit. Yeah, but yeah, I agree, I agree. Ambitious. Okay. I didn't know ambitious was your word now. Yeah, yeah, it's my word now. Before it was all like words that I shouldn't even be saying, but now it's it's calm. I've evolved. So yeah. I think they're wait uh, the attackers are just waiting for a little sp slip up and key i think has noticed Sainer's tendency to push uh showers and bind uh but he just backs off you know saying is wiser than this to just change his game style and key's shorty waiting there is completely useless now and yeah i don't know what leo's waiting for no one's gonna tp again like, yeah they now have both spectres you know i think they were having a no no one of them have a spectre okay yeah, sorry guys, I'm, I'm getting caught up. Key with a beautiful lurk. That could have been a knife, but, you know, he just doesn't want to do it for the culture. Skills with one. Sena, Sena takes two. Why did I say skills? Sena, he needs to make it, he needs to make it count. He needs to make it count free for Sena, you know, but, but Leo runs towards the god. Four for Sena, it's a big ace for Sena. It's another eco ace for him. But it's important. It's big. It's big for his motivation. It's big for his team's motivation. And now they are ready. They are ready to complete the comeback. He has his momentum going. I know blood's flowing through his bodies right now. Bodies. Yeah. 
<laughs> Usually there's blood going through people's bodies. Most people have that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you don't because you're a fucking robot, yeah, but... Sorry, that was just me. That wasn't even funny. That was just mean. I'm sorry, my nut. I'm so sorry, guys. Please don't report me. Who are you gonna report me to, Miner? The organizers? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't think I will be seeing you next, PC2. There's a <laughs> mysterious disappearance of Exo. I think she's threatening to uh, kidnap me, guys. I think we should look into this. And uh, Woeful with a judge. I think he thinks he's fish, but he has a default judge skin. He doesn't even have the dragon judge skin. Like, is he even serious about this shit? And yeah, it's looking like a. Push into the best site that the defenders are investing to. It's a good investment. And Sana swings randomly, takes a few shots, warns Marvi to not peek him like that. But Marvi, she's been having a great game so far. She doesn't take any of his bullshit and nades him for, for no apparent reason. Why did she use that name? He wasn't yeah. even in a corner. Why Why did she use that name? She was doing so good until she did that. That, that just ruined my entire... I'm never complimenting her again. She can pull off the best ace, raised ace I've ever seen. Wasting an aid like that is disturbing. Sena peaks Leo. Leo wins the fight. And now that's the rifle gone. Beckett, the second rifle gone. The Guardian in shambles to the ghost stock. And now he's about to get sandwiched by Jack. Jack takes him. It's looking certain that the attackers... It's looking certain that PP reach 11 and they do leo with a massive 3k to deny aim labs is free the bonus round and now it's 11 it's the it's a gap the gap is narrowing down towards the end and you know Sena he needs to pick up the pace Sena needs to make sure that whatever's happening with him between him individually and between the rest of the team you know he needs to make sure that something just clicks and it needs to be now you know you know what uh, i would have said the song's lyrics but there's three seconds left for the round to begin so let's just get into it marvi she missed the raised boom bot as well you need to stick to the wall bro what are you doing? it's basics man it's basics pick up the pace And now Sena jiggles, he holds now, denies the plant space, but the Prowler is looking for him, it's haunting him. It almost takes him, but you know, he destroys it. And now Marvi almost <laughs> slipping into the TP there, and she's she's just waiting. She's ready, she's in a corner that no one else expects, but Sena, Sena knows that that corner exists. What? One, he finds her, he kills her, it was almost miserable for him, but he takes it. Yeah, he's reliable with it. And this, this looks like a really nice A-hold from the defenders. And they really need to be uh, winning something like this. But Fire Shrine is disabled. Why is a Killjoy playing lamps? And yeah, it's a Killjoy diff by Leo. Takes it. Beckett caught lacking with his nade out. It's all coming down. He gets the nade kill though. Gets it traded. 2v2. The attackers do have a Killjoy ult. This run. could be the nail in the coffin. And he does lock it down. This buys so much time. This buys like a triple of the time that the spike... I mean, a third of the time that the spike needs to explode. It's over. Now it's Sena and Woeful. 2v2. Come on. Give us something. Two key players. It's your time. It's your time. Jack pops up on the spot just before he's about to do the second peak. It's Woeful now in a 1v2. It's looking impossible. The time. The swing. He gets it. Leo. Match point. Series point, BCT point, Match point. for P Pretty in Pink. Yeah, it's not looking good here for AM Lab is free. Um, I think some of them gotta reread their own team name. Uh, I'm kidding. That was a joke. Um, anyway, I think it's um, I think it's clear that uh, Pretty in Pink. Just really got the upper hand this uh, map, this entire match actually. Uh, Leo and Key absolutely popping off today. Yeah, I agree. They look like the just a better, well-rounded team overall. And that could be partly because of Sena's, uh, you know, responsibility and you know everyone's 
everyone's responsibility really to you know keep going for you know the previous game and you know they needed to be warm coming into this and i think the series they did have before was really good for momentum and i'm not really sure why it wasn't carried over especially for the beginning of pearl which could have turned out way different if they just got some defense rounds but yeah it, it is what it is we can't change it you know and now Sena holds the post with a guardian and this guardian could end it all or you know keep him alive let them live one more day and Sena is begging for him to land a few shots right now even if they lose after this he wants to land some shots right now you can feel the hunger in his movement you can feel the hunger in 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 his uh crouching and he gets it by a wide ping wide peak jack does it too they cross Jack, he takes two, but the Prowler blocks his view of the second. Jack takes two. It surely looks like the end of it now. It really looks like the end of it now. Beckett, Beckett, and Fire Shrine hasn't even rotated yet. It's Beckett alone. He's getting bombarded with you till he's blocked off. And now, Leo is even patient. They're disciplined. They're not over peaking. They're not, they're not giving it any space. They're hungry for this. You could see who wanted it more. And you know... And you can even tell it's Beckett out of the sight now. He comes out, he takes Jeffrey, takes him out. Jack, they're Jack and Leo peeking off each other perfectly. The first swarm is popped. Beckett is lucky to be alive right now with his HP. Fire Shrine not taking advantage of his free HP. It's over now. It's finished. Beckett. Does he land a raise or he lands a raise up for the end? I know. There we have it. Pretty in ping, the BCT4 champion. It's all over and it's it's a nice ending you know it's it's not it's not like depressing you know it was an it was a good b it was a good like bct in total and i really like the effort that uh they put in but we can talk about that in like th three minutes because what a dominating map leo leo ascendant one peak Showing them Wog one at Leo. Leo. So you imagine what Leo could do in ranked if he didn't in Salagioru. That would just be perfectly said. Perfectly said. If he just because Leo is a smart player and I don't want him to go into his ranked lobbies this next act, especially this next long act, yeah. Thinking, oh yeah, why am I teammate so bad when I insta log Kyoru every match and make it look like I'm a troll? You get me? I yeah. get you. So yeah, big match from Leo. Very proud of him. You know, he deserves this. They were hungry for it. And he gets his second BCT. Key gets his first. Jack get their first. Key players, yeah, for the... For the... T for the boost. Key players just in the boost, boost accord overall, you know. Jack, Key, OGs, you know. And they deserve this. It was inevitable that they would win a BCT. And today was their day. Today, they showed domination like no one else has you know and yeah I, it feels really bad for Sena's team they they were really good you know Sena Sena made it back in the lowers and did really well you know and his whole team too aim lab is free everyone woeful Vic, beckett fire shrine they were doing so well yeah mm -hmm. but they just couldn't get up on top of the final hurdle which was their bane back in uh the beginning of the playoffs and yeah it was very unlucky that they went down this way and i feel like they could have just you know squeezed through them one or two more rounds but you know at the end it was a given that pp were gonna win it all well played by pretty in pink no yeah, one saw this coming yeah. also credits to skills and piano for playing on the friday on pretty in pink and then Jack and Key stepping in for his skills and uh, for P and piano and just there was no change in their form whatsoever. It's still playing so well as a team, despite not having um, all that much practice as the as the same team. Uh, very good performance by all of them. Hopefully, we can get some interviews now. Yeah, yeah, with, I really uh, want to get the interview. winner. Uh, first, I want to get an interview with Leo. 
So yeah, because he's he MVP this last map and he was having some vital kills. You know, he popped off when I thought that uh, Fire Shrine needed to kill him. Leo was like, "Who the fuck are you?" and just popped him. So yeah, I really want to know uh, his perspective on that. And yeah, let's get Leo in here. Hey, Leo's in chat. Why is Leo? He's in Leo, 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 Habibi. How, was the, how are you feeling, bro? Um, <laughs> insane. <laughs> like, I literally day two killjoy. Um, I I the entire tournament I just played agents that are not my mains. Um, so yeah, but I'm I'm so fucking proud of our team. Like everyone did their job so fucking well. Piano and the key jailing. Um, even like a fucking. I, I don't even know where to begin to to be honest. Like and Mavi on the duel is getting our entries. Um you can piano a jailing. Jack feeling smokes when <laughs> nobody else is fucking playing it. Um Jeffrey playing fade when we really need it. Um and yeah, just everyone doing the job. Even like even though his skills only played one day, he kept helping us with like um not really stats because we didn't do any prep um for any of the maps. Like we we haven't made comps um, for any map but Fracture until we got into Agent Select. So yeah. Um, but he he and Piano kept helping us even though we weren't playing. Um, it was very nice. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. Props to them. About him. Yep. Yeah, all seven of you are really, really uh, vital for each other, you know. Jeffrey, I think, is not spoken about enough. His job as Fade isn't really a flashy job, you know. Every review yeah. age... I think every review uh, initiated in general, they just don't get spoken about enough just because most of the time they're not really putting up big fragging numbers. But Jeffrey, he was doing his job really well. And especially there was one point where he played Killjoy, I think, on Fracture, and he had a really good game then. And he yeah, was, definitely. I think, I think he was really vital for your win, as as the, were the other six people, you know. You had really nice rounds, Leo, especially you individually. You. How do you, th like, how do you feel was that... Was that technically like okay? It was thirteen four. It looked dominating, but do you think that match was closer than what the scoreboard says? How were you feeling about that? Um, I feel like bind was not as close. Pearl was definitely um, a, a cheeky bomb time, as both still says. <laughs> um, yeah, a, a Pearl. They they played like insanely well on Pearl. I'm honestly surprised we managed to crush it. Um, but yeah, bind bind felt. A lot easier than the first map did. And do you, oh, okay, so in general, this is a weird question, but I really want to get your opinion okay. on this. Yeah. In general, uh, what do you think about like? Because so far in most BO3s, we see we see the second maps being stomps because of them. Do you think there is so? Do you think there's big importance in like the mental state of each team? Of course, like the the game is like sixty percent mental. Like, Rizli Bells could have definitely won the earlier series. Um, but unfortunately, the, the metal was just boomed at that point. Yeah, I definitely um, I definitely agree with that. They got fucked on Haven, especially after a long breeze match. Even if they won it, they were probably tired and wanted to get it over and done with. And yeah, yeah to get them getting fucked on Haven didn't really help. And yeah, I, I agree with you. They could have definitely won that. And I think, yeah, having a mental fortitude in this game is really... Tough. And I think that's the biggest problem for, from any team. That's the biggest universal problem, I think, in any uh, team here. They just had the mental boom. Even if you're saying that you're fine and you're, like, being awkward in the VC, you can still kind of tell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, what, what, what next question is, did you have any moments in your team where your mental... It wasn't over, but 
your mentor was shipped at the very least. It, yeah, so what I was about to say, and your question literally targets that, is that I think the main thing that pushed, off, pushed us over the edge um, versus the other teams is our mental. I don't think at any point any of us were actually tilted. Like maybe on, on a singular round or someone gets a bullshit kill on, on, a bullshit kill on you, but other than that, our, our mentals was we just play to win every game. It, it and and I'm not kidding. Like it, it, it sounds like I'm, I'm bullshitting you, but it, I'm really not. Like it, it vibes to immaculate. I don't know what to. I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I, I respect. You know, winning BCT is a lot about vibes in the team chat. You know. Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering if Mina has any questions for you. I don't have any questions, but very well played today. Thank you. Yeah, very well played. Thanks for thanks for coming with us and sharing your views. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, yeah, thank see you. See ya. All right, guys. Uh, so right now, uh, we have a nice PowerPoint made by uh, the one and only Own It. Yeah, or Team, as you normal motherfuckers like to call her. So yeah, how how are we presenting this? All right, perfect, perfect. Tell me when we're. So, Mina, you want me to present this just by saying what's on there? Um, just repeating it? Yeah, just the main parts, I right, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to be very personal with uh, what's happening here because, you know, I have to, I have to, like, relate to some of this, you know, I have to make this entertaining. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's check this. Uh, let's check this out. Thanks so much, Tino, for making this PowerPoint, by the way. You're the GOAT. Yeah. All right, we're ready. We're ready. Let's... All right, let's uh, BCT for re. Bingo! I think we completed most of it except that Ammo gets sniped because uh, Ammo had a specific seed one. I, w I don't want to name any names, but they were really bad as a seed one. Yeah, yeah. And that seed one was, uh, you know, everyone knows who it is, but you know, we just we just don't need to talk about him. Yeah, yeah. Miner, you agree? Yep. Yep. Okay. So yeah, let's keep it rolling. Teams of BCT, Aim Labs is free. The goats runners up, you know. And I think, and I think Sena has definitely, you know, at least for the next BCTs in the line, uh, in the bag, you know, he, he definitely deserves one. You know, very good efforts by him. Risley Bears, third place, definitely not a team to be messed with, you know. Especially when they have the, when they have their path clear. Mike IGO, ten out of ten. Seng, amazing player. Yeah, the rest of the team too. All good players. Reliable. Yeah. Tino, 300 ping, third place. Really good. Next team was uh, Mommy's Daycare. I didn't even know there was a team called that, you know? But yeah, this team, I think they came close to winning a map or they did win a map. I don't know. But they were really not, they were really close in the groups to some games. And yeah, it was, it was really fun watching how a different team that I didn't really get to see in the scrims period played. All right, fourth team, let's go. Oh, yeah, Kenny's team. Kenny's team. Oh, 13 -0. Oh, oh, rip, bozos. Yeah, reaction, Kenny, Johnny, Turtle Eggs, Grizzly. Other than, like, the, the bottom three people of the team, so Johnny, Turtle Eggs, and Grizzly, the other two are memers, you know? I think, I think they made this team just to make sure that someone was definitely in last place. Yeah, we, don't, we agree. Uh, they did not cook, by the way, that is true. So the next four was uh, the group that was actually hard to get out of. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, check it out. Skillage in the village. Goats. Day one, they were so good, you know. Day two, they had a bit of a mental downfall. Not really a downfall, just a chip at mental. But they really, uh, they really kept it going. Let us cook. Legends. You know, they didn't have much prac. You know, we played them on split. It was a very fun, uh, puggy game. But yeah, Bob, 
Dokoted team. I always love everyone on that list except Fish. Dodge another scrim, bitch. I dare you. Okay, uh, pretty in pink. Yeah, second place, Goats, Leo. Oh, second place. Second place. First place. <laughs> first... Damn it, I fumbled. Sorry, sorry, first place. Yeah, Goats, you know, piano skills, key jack, all goated players, top tier players. Yeah. And the other three had immense impact. Leo, match MVP, I think a seed four, seed three. Legend, Marvi, go on raise, except I lack the last five rounds on fucking buying. You made me mad, Marvi, if you're watching. I hope you know that. Yeah, and then Jeffrey, the go, Matthew Mandem, we know him. Let's keep going. All right, now uh, the top scrim moments. So uh, let's see this. Uh, we can always see the outlines, and I'm, I'm on a lot of them. Uh, Sena almost cancelling the whole tournament. He did this by arguing with me. Uh, Exo almost dropping out after being 21 3 by Sena. This is false. I did not drop out because of this result of the scrim. It was Fish dodging scrim. Land Dodger. Can we have Land Dodger in the chat? Yeah. Uh, Sena Lee and Exo's DMs deserved. Honestly, I asked for it. I'm very sorry for my team for saying that shit. All right. Next one. Animal Eat 2412. I do not get that at all. That's an inside joke I do not understand. Yeah, okay, next one. Reaction second fish waking up for the skins challenge. Impossible. That is fact. Yeah. Kenny's team being blue balled by Senk. I have no, no idea what that means. But Kenny always gets blue balled, bro. Sena trolling reactions PC and delaying scrims by a whole fucking hour. I have no idea about that as well. Starting your scrim on time when your opponent is exo challenge. Bro, it was never my fault. I made T once and that took three minutes, okay? Okay, the rest of it was fish sleeping and then we had to get a placement for him like four times and then he showed up at the last second at right, ninth we have tino trying to smoke ct for team challenge tino can't smoke at all anything not even just ct saying his team having an analyst yeah I, I really found that as an unfair advantage wow 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 i'm joking all right next one yeah we got the day one these day are the one. results these are the results Oh damn that please Next. please keep don't don't even show the other group. This <laughs> yeah, is we embarrassing. saw that Bob got yeah. absolutely shit on. Uh minor, uh, I wanna see what you would do. Team. I wanna see what you would do playing, yeah. I wanna see what you would do, yeah. Me personally, I would have won. But yeah, 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 yeah. Just, um I believe you, man. I believe you would have won every BCT. I mean yeah, what happened with MILF? won if she subbed for me. Tino, who asked you? Go back to being muted, bro. Okay. Chill out. Next. Okay, okay. All right, so yeah. we got the top five moments of day one. So obviously, we saw Kenny, the best duelist of BCT, getting 30, 13 owed in the first map. Then we had Exo getting grouped after talking shit about his own team. A very enjoyable moment for all of us. Then we had Reaction whiffing every single Headhunter bullet. Um, very unfortunate. Then we have Bob giving up and still winning a three duelist comp on split. Um, unlucky for Let Us Cook because they were doing a Kitchen Nightmares cosplay on day one and got 3 0 <laughs> Yeah, that must be them right now. Then on day two, we had um, these are the results. The first day, um, everything was a 2 0. Easy clap. Um, yeah, next. <laughs> and the top five moments were that Key was telling his own team not to get one tapped while Sena docked on them on Haven with the, uh, I think it was the Headhunter, but I'm not sure. I think he did a little. Um, nah, nah, who told you? Yeah, yeah. the so. Did you just make shit up to look quirky? Right, so, you Nobody asked you. Um, then we had Sena's team losing to 13 on their own map pick. Yikes. Um, then we have Mike getting two knife kills and two owing flows, who absolutely popped off on day one, so it was a bit of a surprise. Then we had Sang screaming in VC for comedic relief in his team. And then we had Exo trolling Skillage in the village. And telling them to pick Fracture as their newfound coach. I did not. They they literally thirteen for us. I expect the fucking McFloaty kid to pick Raina. If you're in chat, fuck you for doing that. You should have won fade. 
Yeah, you made me look like you a shit are coach. You're so toxic. You Shut made me look like so. a shit coach. I love you, Floaty. I'm joking. And there we have the famous Jenny Gaff. Uh, next. <laughs> then on day three, which is the day, we saw that Pretty and Bink, Pink um, beat the Rizzly Bears. And then we had Rizzly Bears versus Aim Lab is Free, which um, Aim Lab is Free. One, two, one, and then we had the final just now. Pretty in Pink versus Aim Love is free, and we saw that Pretty in Pink became the the winners. So here's the the top five moments, top six moments of the day. Um, Key is a fucking sage well, Sandy. Sandy, okay, nice, Tina. Um, <laughs> so we saw that on Icebox. Right. He asked like, Wait, pop, pop. Hi, go press next." Well, yeah. there we have the day three top the animation. Um, then we have everyone getting detained in the kill draw. Beckett Rosa alts in a knife fight. I mean, he Rosa alts every time. Um, then we had thank ace and a Cena back to back ace. Absolutely insane. Um, then we had Tino asking for a knife fight, but Cena not respecting it. And just he was the HP and he was like, him. yeah, let's knife and then shoots me. Yeah, unacceptable. And then we had Pretty Pink getting flamed by chat for not hearing Sena's fat steps. Uh, real picked or who was it? Uh, J J two A. I don't know. I think it was her maid. He needs a new headset. Next. <laughs> so here's the winners: Pretty and Pink. We already talked about them. Absolutely insane team. The runners up, aim lab is free, and our third. By the way, the font is in purple. That's not pink, you know. I don't know what pink looks pink, like in Australia. I don't know what pink looks like in Australia, but that's purple. It's bro. like magenta. It's a pretty color anyway. Um, but yeah, well played to everyone. And the next slide, is there more? Oh, we have the highlights of BCT four. Um, so obviously we had Kenny saying that he'll diff a certain player. And it'll make no difference to him, but he got absolutely shit on the first game. Um, yeah, Dana doing it for her. Uh, you have to play the clip. Play the clip with the match matching names. Because there's like a lot of clips with um noise. I love All Ginger, right. KBC, BLM, Sexy Mode. Shout out to everyone. And <laughs> shout out to her. She's the reason we're here. Woo! Goodbye, w forever. shout outs. Goodbye. Absolute legend. I don't think we can hear it, but it's all good. Um, I'll pretend I did. Haha. <laughs> wow. So funny. Next. I love all Ginger. Right. I love what she's trying to do, and she will pick up the kill. Oh, Mike! So Wow, that's sexist by Mike. Oh, Mike! Oh, Mike! Oh, Mike! Mike! Oh, Mike! 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 <laughs> exactly. You should run up. Oh. Yeah, big brain plays. That's really what we love to see by Sena. Crazy kill. Everyone when Kenny gets O three'd in groups. So real. That's some of our uh, poster court members in the give. Look at them looking Look at handsome Karen's and pretty looking as ever. Beautiful. Real. Uh, then we have the dynamic duo, Mike and Sank. Absolutely popping off for every single one of their games together. Unfortunately, didn't make it to the final, but we're great nonetheless. Dynamic duo in chat. And then we have Cena changing his IGN for an e-girl. Uh, you He's know, back. 
don't know how happy she is with him not winning, you know, but it is what it is. Um, um, kind of he, only, he only lost like 10 minutes ago by that chill. <laughs> Alright, then it's um, Skillage in the village on day one. Absolutely popped off. 3 0 win. And uh, day two, it just it wasn't there. Then we have uh, Sina carrying his team to finals. A real not fake. Uh, Looking like an I miss her ranked fucking career, bro. <laughs> He'll get him next time. Then we have Minet constantly changing rosters because people are AFK. This is very real. I've spent too much time looking for subs and changing rosters. All good now though. you know how it feels. <laughs> Sank hitting the gritty. It's a clip. No, wait, wait. no, 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 no. Drop it, drop, drop it. Drop. What? I want to do, do the gritty, bro. Get out, get out. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great one. I say right the uh, okay, so we can have ten more of those in here. <laughs> yeah, we can have thirty. <laughs> we can make a whole montage. Someone make a montage, please, of every Beckett result. Sang after your one v five, mommy Staker to win the match for his team. Yeah, he clutched. Real. Easy clutch for him. Uh, then we have Cena getting flamed in stream chat for all of his games by EXO. Uh, if it's EXO I love you, Cena. I love you. I love you, calling Sena. Group A the Farmers. Farmers League. Farmers League. We proved that in the finals. You're all farmers. Cena, I love you, though. I like how you said we. Uh, Such a dick rider. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we have Mike backseating three of his teammates. I'm sure he was very happy to do that and did not get tilted at all. He was never so good. He was very good. IGO, definitely. Yeah, uh, just so nice. <laughs> Next, okay. Mino and Peoples are complaining about their teams when they were equally balanced. Oh god, it's happening and it's very real. Um, I definitely recommend organizing BCT, guys. You should definitely do it. Yeah, very uh, good for your mental health, guys. You very good for your mental health, guys. I definitely don't yeah. want to kill myself the first three times. Yeah. <laughs> All right, calm down. Then we have um. The 300 ping warrior Tino uh, ending herself live on Twitch. Let's not do that. Uh, it was in a video game. I got more uh, kills in three games. I got more kills in three games. Uh, nobody asked you anything, EXO. You can shut up now. Um, I think I think Tino did a very good performance. Yeah, so if I get you any bad no, I will no fuck kills. you. Oh, she got one kill on the last two matches. What go on there, bro? What go on? We got dogged on. Do you not see? Yeah, you can you can click your gun at them. You know that. You I did. Have to I got one kill. You're not Don't worry. You're not like me. Okay. Yeah, but I'm also not like you getting fucking dogged in groups. Yeah. I've had to rely on Senk and Mike, bro. We'd, we'd, we'd win the whole thing. And I made this for Mina because she organized such an amazing tournament and we all had a lot of fun and thank you so much. Aww. I am redoing all that, so but sweet. I'm happy it happened. All my condolences. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you, Mina, for organizing. Can we have a thank I you, Mina, in chat? Everyone. With you? <laughs> I cannot yet, yeah, no. Unlucky. Can get a really soundboard, sweet. please? I hope everyone had fun playing this BCT. It was fun to organizing to organize That's a lie. At, times. at times okay at times it was um but yeah i hope everyone had fun um and that yeah hopefully there will be a next time um yeah, yeah someone know. someone should step up to organize it because we need those guys that everyone played uh, yeah. and that everyone who helped with it also you know Always was there. I said their names earlier, but yeah, I couldn't have done it without any help. So thank you to everybody who helped. I think that's about it. Congratulations again to Pretty and Ping. Not sure if there's anything else to say. Um, all right. <clears throat> Yeah, as the presenter of this fucking stream, guys, uh, and I really want attention by everyone in chat right now, because uh, EXO is like that. Thank you guys so much for watching, yeah? Thanks so much for participating, you know? 
boost the cord is all goaded, you know. And yeah, we hope to see more BCTs in the future. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll try to organize one. Maybe Miner will, you know. We'll we'll see one in the future, you know. Thanks so much for playing. Thanks Miner so much for organizing. I've been there. It's really hard, and she did a really good job. So yeah. Really, really big thanks to her and really big thanks to all the help, as she mentioned, Harry included. You guys can't hear him, but he's GOAT. Yeah. Harry, RG, and uh, Sido, all the producers were really useful for us, and all the casters as well. Not bothered naming all them, but you know, I love you all. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's about it for this BCT. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next. And hopefully, everybody who wasn't part of this community before will come back to Boaster's Discord. Shout out to Boaster, great Discord owner. Um, yeah, and we'll see you guys next time. Question mark? <laughs>